Yo, how are you doing guys? This is going to be armor crafting for dummies. It's going to be teaching you just the basics to armor crafting. Like, obviously a little bit more than what the tutorial does because that's not very good. But anyway, let's get on with the video. Alright, so with armor crafting, it's honestly extremely easy as soon as you know what you're doing. Like, as soon as you know materials and stuff like that and what type of armors you want. The main, the hardest thing about armor crafting, uh, being a master armor crafter, is getting the books to learn different armor, like new styles of armor. So, I'm going to break this video down into three sections. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part. Part one will be different materials and how to obtain them. Part two will be books and probably I'll probably explain how to get a couple of them. And then part three will be just as crafting some armor and show you how to do it properly. So anyway, let's get on with part one. All right, so we know from doing the basic tutorial that you can get materials for crafting from animals that you kill out in the wild. Now getting materials this way, you can get some very good, uh, like low to mid tier gear. Um, well, materials for making gear. If you want the really high tier, you're gonna have to get into mining and stuff like that. But we're not gonna get into mining and uh, all the metals because this video isn't about that. It's just about armor crafting. So some good examples of some low to mid tier gear that I can tell you is like malarium, incisium, horn scale, keelid scale, panzer scale. Depending on what type of material you want, you can use this website. This website is called Mortal Online Extraction Emulator. There'll be a link in the description below. You need to find out what you need to be killing for a certain type of material. If you go to Butchery here, we can select different types, like most of the animals in the game, and it'll tell you what you'll get for skinning slash butchering. Also, the amount that you'll get. Um, you can all go also do a reverse search. So say if you want, um, let's have a look, some horn scale, that's an okay, that's a pretty decent mid-tier, well low to mid-tier material for crafting armor, so click horn scale. To get horn scale, you use 10,000 hunter lizard in the butchery. This will yield meat 3,000, tissue 2,000, keelid scale 2,200, cesium 400, horn scale 300. So that just tells you everything you'll get for getting a full stack of hunter lizard. Um, then you've got ear look, satyrs, lycators, stone lizards. So it just tells you everything that you can kill to get that type of material this is a very good website for doing that there'll be a link in the description it will help you out a lot all right so onto the different styles of armor there's typically three different types as in most games you've got light medium and heavy even though it doesn't categorize it very good but <laughs> that's basically what it is the, the menu is not all too great so to get on this just press l craft in Armor crafting. We've got two different armor styles here: the Karite Scout armor and the heavy robes. Soft armors, laminated armor, light armor. So you've got your light armors, which are yeah, your paladin armor, your cultist armor, Bendaya hunter armor, stuff like that mainly. Um, your mid tier armors are stuff that like all right. So your light. Your light tier armors are used with only backing materials. So like silk and stuff like that. I'll get onto that into the next part. But then your mid tier armors, um, that's gonna be like Sadukan Guard, Expiliator, um, and stuff like that. That can only be made with horn scale, well not horn scale, but scale basically. Scale is like your midway armor. And then onto the heavy stuff, this can be made with scales and with metals and uh, dental and like just literally everything. Um, and this is your heavy stuff like Stadius, um, Mardus, uh, Director, Tindrimic Guard, Tindrimic Plate, stuff like that. That's typically your heavy stuff. Um, there's not really too much more to say on that. It's just one of the, you just need to learn all the different types of armors and stuff. So let's get on to the third bit. This is the fun bit. This is on crafting. So let's go jump on that. All right, so now onto the last part, the armor crafting. As you can see in my inventory right here, I have two different types of materials and a shield for some reason. Um, I, us I usually have the shield on my back just for in case 
someone decides to attack me. Um, because as an armor crafter, you're not going to be you're not going to be a fighter. But anyway, we've got iron scale, our main material, and then I've got some silk as my backing material. If we press R, oh, here we go. Now this is going to be like whoa. <laughs> All right, so like I said, light armors. So if I go here to my here on this left top left corner, this is where you pick what armor you want to wear. Top right, you pick the piece because there's ten different pieces to every set of armor. So let's start off with a light armor. Let's go for where is it? The um, is it scout armor? I do believe. Yeah. So as you can see, if I grab the silk, which is a backing material, a support material, because the scout armor is a light armor, I can also put it into the primary primary material as well. And we can put these up to 100%, so it has max materials in it, and craft. There we go, we made a hood. We're awesome. We delete that because it's trash. <laughs> but yeah, so all light materials require a primary support, but it's always the support for light armors. You have to, well, for the lightest of armors, you use only the backing material. If you just look, I can't put horn scale into this, it won't work. It's not crafting anything. It says you can't craft right now. Now, if we go to something like a mid tier armor, a expelliarmus service mid tier armor, this requires scales and a support material. So, a support material is silk. Primary material, I've got some horn scale here, chuck that in, craft, and boom, we've now got a fairly decent helmet to be fair. But yeah, like I said, medium armor, it can only be made with scale. So if I try to put this silk in the primary, it'll go in, but it won't actually craft. You see, it's not doing anything because it only takes scale. Same with if you get some steel, which is a pretty good metal. You stick that in and you won't be able to craft this because it's a medium tier armor so it only requires horn it only requires scale sorry but you've always got to have a backing as well look you can't put the scale into the back end right on to the last part the heavies so let's go down to um tindrimic guard armor i like this one this is a good armor now tindrimic guard guard armor you can't make it with silk silk that's not gonna work it's just not but you can make this with any type of metal and um, any type of scale. To scale in, boom, we now have a better helmet. Not much better, but it is better. Weighs a little bit more, we get a little bit more defense. Well, actually, that's about it, really. Uh, there's not really much more I can say except for go out there, farm yourself some materials, do some, you know, some practice, do some research. If you need any help, with what materials are good and stuff like that. There's um, another website, Mortal Online Armor Calculator. Again, there'll be a link in the description below. This will help you out loads. This will let you pick all the different armor styles, uh, base material, and support material. 100% sliders. And then if we click Calculate, look, it'll tell us the full set's weight full set durability how much defense is going to have on slash bash and pierce material cost for both of your two materials weight for every individual item and durability for every individual item again this is another website that's going to help you out loads so definitely go check that out link in the description all right to finish this video off i'm going to make myself um, an armor set for one of my majors uh, I've got two different backing materials because one is heavier than the other. It will make my armor a little bit heavier. So this is just an idea of, you know, what you'd be doing. So for me, I'm going to be going for, uh, where is it? Where is it? Imperator. There we go. Some on scale in, some blood silk in. Put it to 100%. After helmet. Craft the torso. Now I need the rest to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna put uh, the silk in, leggings. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Right sleeve, do like that one. Oh, that was left arm, sorry. Yeah, right arm. Look what we got. Now we wanna go blood silk, blood silk. Go for the scout armor. Blood silk, blood silk. 
go for boots. Left glove and right glove. Now, if you're wondering why I've done it up in two different ones, it's because most people aim for your chest and your head, though sometimes at your arms and your legs. And this is just to make my arm lighter because I need it to be under six weight. This will put it up to 5.9, which is perfect for my mage. So yeah, that is, that's what armor crafting is like basically. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really do hope it helps. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like. If you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. There'll be a lot more content coming out teaching you know people just basics on how to do stuff in this game. If you had any comments whatsoever on how you thought I could have made the video better or you have any questions or anything like that, make sure to drop a comment below. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.